guys and welcome to a $400 gaming build so let's go ahead and jump into the CPU I went with an AMD FX 4300 3.8 gigahertz quad core processor yes you heard me right this is a quad core processor so it will allow you to run your game from screen capture software and maybe a web browser on the side um, so yeah the quad core processor is really gonna help the quad the four cores is really gonna help and if you want to run some other applications and if you want to run some pretty intense applications too this will do the job but not perfectly but you can do some light video editing maybe some live streaming with this but not intense like stuff but yeah it'll, it'll get the job done especially for a gaming build budget gaming builds like this um, that comes at $80 so yeah um, with the motherboard I want an Asus M5A78LM USB 3 motherboard this is a USB 3 header, which will go along perfectly with our case, because I believe our case has USB 3 on the uh, front of it. So yeah, some USB 3 headers, and this is four um, RAM slots, so we can put in four RAM sticks into it, and it'll, it works perfectly. Uh, the board is also an AM3 socket. So talking about our CPU again, the FX 4300 is an AM3 socket. So if you if you want to upgrade to something like an 8350 in the future, you can. Um, this the motherboard supports um, anything up to 140 um, watts. So yeah, uh, if you want to upgrade your CPU in the future, um, that's why I went with an AM3 um, processor and motherboard. Uh, so yeah, you want to do that. And now talking about RAM, this I went with some A Data XPG 4 gigabyte um, RAM. This is one stick of 4 gigabyte RAM. This is DDR3 um, 1600 megahertz. So yeah, it will get the job done. If you want to pop in three more 4 gigabyte sticks, they'll add up to 16 um, gigabytes of RAM. So yeah, um, it, 4 gigabytes of RAM is still pretty common, um, still recommended for some games. But in the future, I, like four to five years, I think you're going to need to put another um, stick of 4 gigabyte RAM in there um, to add up to eight because more and more games are starting to take um, use of this 8 gigabyte RAM. So yeah, you probably want to put in another stick um, when the chance comes so yeah um, with the hard drive and with the Western digital caviar blue one terabyte drive this one terabyte drive is perfect um, great performance off of it not as good as an SSD but of course you can't fit an SSD into a build like this at $400 so yeah I, I chose it one terabyte it will store everything you need your music all your games and, um, videos if you're into YouTube like me I personally use a 500 gigabyte um, drive and one terabyte would it's great. So yeah, um, if you're looking for a drive, the um, one terabyte's great. Um, so anyways, um, for the graphics card, I went with a Gigabyte GeForce GTX 750. Now this specific model comes with two gigabytes of memory, not one, as some as usually um, some GTX 750s do. Uh, so yeah, this is a great card, the GTX 750. Uh, and I highly recommend this specific model because of the two gigabytes of memory that comes with it and that two gigabytes of memory will help people with dual monitors like me so yeah um, the two with the two gigabytes will really benefit you so with the case I went with an NZXT Source 210 Black this is an ATX mid tower case so it will fit everything we need including the motherboard and the graphics card um, so yeah, I did the job perfectly. If you want to go with something like a Corsair Spec um, 01 Red, you could, but it's an extra ten dollars, and that uh, that would make the price a little over than what uh, what it is. It probably make it like four ten or something. So this is a four hundred dollar build. Anyways, uh, with the power supply and with an EVGA five hundred watt eighty plus bronze certified ATX power supply. I usually go with 500 watt power supplies mainly because uh, it, it allows you to upgrade stuff in the future. Um, and this this graphics card does not take up a lot of watts wattage, so yeah, you can upgrade your CPU and your RAM and stuff, and you'll be perfectly okay. Um, so yeah, this is an upgrade um, oriented build, so you can go ahead and upgrade your CPU if you want. You can upgrade your RAM if you want, um, and even your graphics card because it's a 500 watt um, power supply. So yeah, thank you for watching guys, please go ahead and share this video, subscribe if you're not already, subscribe, go ahead and like this video too, and uh, I'll see you guys later, thanks for watching.